and welcome back. Um, right, um, we last left off, we just assigned all our skills and gave everybody a name. So now it is time to take some more items. Um, I want a lot more of those. In fact, I don't want any plump helmets. Maybe seven just to feed each dwarf once, but after that we're going like, to just grow them. Maybe 14, how many was there? I can't remember. We're taking seven. And I'm just going to take more spawns because it's a lot easier to... Um, oh, one minute. I remember another tip here. Right, one sec. You're going to be wondering, what the hell are you doing, Jay, you crazy person? But I didn't actually know this. Dwarven beer. No, we haven't got one. I'm going to take one of those because, um, thanks to again to Larry, he says that they come with a free barrel. And the same with food, I think it were. No, it can't be take one of every food. Sure, it can't have been. I think it would take one of every seed. Maybe. Where's turtle? There's turtle. Turtle is the best meat to take by far. Right. Oops. Wrong key. Plump helmet spawn. That's what I need. And I'm going to take 20 of those. So we've got meat. We've got seeds. Um, I want to take a few dogs and a few cats. Um, we've got pretty much everything we need. We've got 60 beer. Right, we'll take some more meat. We've got 30 meat now. 60, no, 61 beer. That and then I'm just going to save the rest of these for, I think it was seed you said. So I'm going to take one of those. Sweet pod. Oh, cave wheat, sweet pod. Rock nuts. Pigtail. And... Alright, so we've got eight more things now to take. I'm sure you said something else. What I took, it would give me something. Not wood, we can make that. Oh wait, yeah, I'll take one plump helmet as well. Oh my god, that costs far. That's quite a lot, but considering I get something free with it, it's not too bad. In fact, I'm just going to quickly, whilst you look at this, you're not going to know, but I'm actually checking what Larry said, just because if you take animals, you get a single... It's just really difficult to... Um, yeah, it was just every type of seed. Um, right, so, yeah. So, there we go. We've done that. And I don't want that. Right, that'll do. Right, and I've got eight more points. Oh, that's 16 it costs. Damn. Right, so I need an item now. Wait, I'll just take some more... F yeah, just take some more food. Wait, take four more of those. And four more of those. So we've used up all our points and we're actually ready to embark on our journey. So, E for embark. The game's going to freeze now because it sucks like that. There we go. I'm just going to close a few things. Right, let us continue. <coughs> right, so, why didn't it pause? Stupid game. So, right, here's our dwarf. So I'm tr like I said, I'm not going to try and make it too much of a tutorial. Yellow sand. Maybe there's a tree. Basalt pebbles. I can't even see any trees. Maybe if I go higher up. And what's these? Copper. That's pretty cool. A wood slurp. Open space, which means there's just too much to see. Wait, what's that red thing? Ooh, obsidian. That circle? Yeah. 
I don't know if you can see, but that circle and the red thing there means that that is a lava pipe. So our lava is roughly there. Yep, there you go. If what, we can already see the lava. Alright, that's sort of handy. Is that lava? Yeah, magma. That's pretty cool. But that is not actually like a mod or anything I'm using. Ooh, a magma flow. But anyway, yeah, that is not a mod I'm using. That is just pure luck on how I've stumbled across that. I think it's just due to that one square there. Actually, that is an incredible base entrance as well. Oh, yeah, because I could actually do something with the magma. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be starting down here. The only problem is, can the traders get to me down here? I think they can. Or do I start up here? Yeah, see, this is like... I'm thinking of starting here. I could wall all this off. I could make, like, walls here. Make that unclimbable. I quite like that. Oh no, the thing is the stupid way. If I dig there, yeah, actually that's going to make it wide enough so the dwarfs can, yeah, the caravaners can actually get through. So yeah, that's my starting point. So, what I'm going to do is H for hotkeys, leave it as gate, and just press F1. Sugar, I shouldn't have done that because I forgot where my, f my caravan actually was. And I needed to do one more thing. Oh wait, is that my caravan? Yay! I was quite lucky. But yeah, we need to remove that building. Due to the fact we no longer need it and we get free wood. So, unpause, well, not unpause it, just get out of there and go back to here. Right, mining. I want to mine all this area out. Just so it means we cannot get ambushed from above. It makes the area basically inaccessible from above and it's going to give me a very 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 nice strong um, base what's it quite easy to defend I'm not sure how much I want to mine of this I'm using my mouse here by the way you can actually use your mouse which is quite cool I think I'm going to be annoyed if my the actual traders can't get up here Right, that should do for now. Just until we get into the rock itself, this will do. Right, so that's that area all secured. It's like only, you can only enter from this area. That just makes that incredibly good. There's a hill there, isn't there? Yeah, it goes down. Which get, actually gives my dwarfs the height advantage as well. Which I don't mind. And the magma pool is just next door. So that is a really good starting place. It's even better actually than I first thought it was. So right, this is probably I don't know, a good time to cut the video because I've still got two minutes left. So we'll just start mining out like basic fort design I guess. In fact, I'm going to start my fort in here. And I want that, yeah, like that. And then I want some, up, oops, what's above me on this? Oh yeah, it's still rock. Yeah, it's still rock, so that's good. So I still have some room to work into. So I want, oops. Yeah. D for designations, then I for building. I want to make some stairs. I'm not going to exactly build anything up there yet for now, but I just do want it to be there. Oops, what have I done? There we go. I'm going to build just all the way down in my fort here, by the way. Just so I've got all the floors mined out. Like I said, I haven't got exactly a base design planned, but... Oh, I'm really sorry if you can hear that, I've just heard it over one sec. Oh, for me now, I think he's upstairs. One second, I'm just going to shut my door and just hope that prevents the noise. Inconsiderate parents. Right, sorry about that, guys, I'm back. Even though I never cut the video. 
Unprofessionalism for the win. God, there's a lot of flaws on here. Alright, that's the bottom. So, at the bottom you want to end it with an upward staircase. I can't remember which way. Oh, it was down. So, yeah. There you go. That's every floor mined out, including the one above. And I want... I'm going to build in here. Do I really want it in here? Yeah, because the caravans can't use stairs, so... And I want it quite next to my central stairs. Holy shit, that scared the friggin' life out of me. I need to change that setting. I'd rather just have a friggin' pop-up. Oh my god, apologies if that scared anyone, but that means we're out of time. So, join me in the next video. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut the video here, so I'm not gonna play anymore. So, what you see now is what you'll see when I rejoin. So, see you then.